What's going on everybody? Today is Sunday, March. I don't know, it's the end of March sometime. Um, usually I'd be at church right now, but because of this virus that everybody's freaking out about, we can't get together with anything. So yesterday I did something pretty neat. I'm gonna show you what I did. So this is what I did. I had been looking for a, another truck for a little while now, and I was being really particular on what I wanted. I finally found something like I wanted. This is a 2017 Nissan Frontier, one owner, clean Carfax. Um, they had all the service records, never been in a wreck, 17,000 miles, and I got it for about $2,000 less than my last one, which was a 2012 with 33,000 miles. So I was pretty excited about that. The truck's lifted two and a half inches. I wanted a truck with a little bit of lift to give me a little more ground clearance. This truck actually has a little more ground clearance and it looks like it has 13 inches of ground clearance. Those are 20 inch Rockstar rims with 33, 12, 50, 20, a Turo Trail Blade XT E-Load 10 ply tires. Uh, and here's the plan for the truck. I'm gonna take this cover off that's on here, put a shell on it. I'm gonna find the cheapest one I can off eBay that'll fit, fit excuse me, off Facebook that'll fit. And I'm gonna paint it to match the truck so I don't have to spend a pile of money on that. I have not decided what I'm gonna do on my back bumper yet. I hate chrome, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it, which takes a lot of work with chrome, or if I'm gonna get like a pre-runner style bumper or something for it, but that's what we're gonna do, something. It's got running bars on it, which I really like. Uh, they look good. On the front, I just put the bug flector on there, which I really like bug flectors, so I put that on there. It's got a bull bar with a light bar integrated in it. It's a uh, black horse light bar. So when it's done, it'll be a fully uh, tricked out off-road, well, not really off-road, but hunting truck that'll allow me to go wherever I want out west and pretty much get wherever I want to get to. So pretty excited. It's gonna take a while probably to do all this, so I'm just going to wait and see. When I'm done, I'll put everything together and upload it for you guys. What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going to work on my skid plates for my truck. I'm going to make them. Uh, I got this piece of metal here that was <clears throat> just old, leftover, wasn't being used. And yesterday, I measured out everything that I needed, where everything went. And... Um, here it is, here are my diagrams. I'm gonna make three different plates. We'll see if I make them all today. If I don't get them all done today, I'll just keep working on them. And until I get it done, I'll try to record the best I can, maybe do a time lapse or something, see what I can uh, get on video. So it's gonna be good, I'm excited, and I'm gonna start working. All right, everybody, there they are. Got everything cut out. <clears throat> this is uh, how it's all gonna look under my truck. That's the front one that covers the engine and oil pan. That's the cutout for draining your oil. This next one will cover the transmission. And this one will cover the back. I think the transfer case is what that one's covering. So you can see they all lay out like that. And hopefully they'll fit like that. If I have to put little bends in them, I will. But I'm hoping they'll just work just like that. So the next thing will be installing them. That'll be, or the first attempt at installing them. That will be tomorrow. So until then, we'll see you then. All right, guys. So I did a little work to this plate. You can see I put a little bend in it and I welded the backside. I'm not gonna show you what the welds look like cause I'm still kind of just learning how to weld and they look like crap, but they're strong. They just look bad. So what I did was I used the angle iron, angle grinder and I cut, um, you know, like half the way through, maybe a little more than halfway through here on this edge and here. And then I beat the heck out of it until I had it at the angles I wanted. So uh, um, you can see the bend here didn't quite do like I wanted because it was so close to where the oil pan is, or the oil drain is going to be. So I just put some welds on the back side there uh, to help hold that because it's a weak spot. So um, I think it's going to work well. Uh, 
as soon as it cools down because it's still pretty hot i'm gonna mount it up all right guys so i'm doing a little more work on the skid plates i've actually had them installed for a little while but the one that was far farthest back that covered like the middle of the truck right there where the uh transfer case is the tra it had just a tiny tiny bit of clearance um and when the truck hit the right rpms uh, you can hear it vibrating and obviously didn't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little cutout and I'm going to just weld another piece right over the top of it. And that should give me about that much clearance, which is going to be good. It'll do what I want it to do. So here's the skid plate right here. And you can see where I got it traced out that I'm going to uh, cut that, cut that out. And then I'm going to weld this piece back over the top of it. So I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do and get after it. All right, I got this cut out and uh, grinded down. This is my piece that's gonna fit in there. So I'm about to get to welding. All right, there it is. So I welded that up a little bit higher on purpose because the uh, transfer case is right on the edge of here. So I just wanted a little bit of extra. So I left an inch and a half high. I know my welds aren't the prettiest, but they're very strong. So I'll uh, mount it up, get it painted, but that's it. It looks pretty good. So everything's done. I'm gonna show you what the skid plates look like. So there's the front skid plate. It covers the engine. Um, you can see there's the oil drain cutout. Um, and then this second one here covers the transmission that you can see up under there, right there. And it goes to here. And then the one I just fixed today, you can see the welded area. And now I have some clearance there before I really didn't have any. So I probably have, that's half an inch to three quarters of an inch of clearance. And it goes back and actually covers uh, part of the, the drive, rear drive shaft there and part of the exhaust that you can see right here. And it goes and hooks up right there. Um, so there's everything. I think it looks pretty good. Face is dirty. Uh, so I'm all finished with that. Um, I actually finished it a while back, but I had to, well, I say a while back, a few weeks ago, but I had to make that one change on that one skid plate. Um, those three skid plates, if you were to buy them, there's like three different places that make them and they're anywhere from like 570 to about 800 bucks before shipping. So I saved myself a good bit of money. It really didn't cost me much of anything because it was scrap metal. Um, I know everybody doesn't have that, but even if you just go out and buy yourself a sheet of metal, you can make them yourself and save yourself a ton of money. It does take some time. You do need some tools, but it's way better than spending 600 bucks or 500, whatever, plus shipping. So I'm going to keep working on the truck build. Uh, I will show you a little teaser for the next video. As you can see that bumper right there, that's a pre-runner type bumper. That I put on. So the next video, I'm gonna show you guys where I got that bumper and uh, how I put it on. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep working on the truck, uh, the hunting truck build, and uh, keep uploading videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.